Hello class and welcome to another episode in my FPV 101 series. And today I'm going to uh, talk to you about a kind of not well-known feature of ELRS that lets you switch ELRS modes really quickly. So this is my new GX12. It is the new Gemini X version of um, uh, Radio Masters radios. And I recently got this because I wanted to get into doing more um, long range Cinewoop and potentially even Cine lifters with uh, this camera, which is my C70. This one being dual band, so I can do 2.4, 900, or both at the same time in uh, so you have a, a diversity, but it's diversity across different radio frequencies. So it's much less prone to having any kind of failure with uh, interference. One of the things that you kind of run into with ELRS is to change settings. If you want to, um, you know, change what uh, packet rate you're flying at or what um, power you're flying, what you want to fly at, you actually have to go into the Lua script here by hitting the system button and then going into the first uh, option there. And in here, you'll see you got the packet rate. You can change this between all the different options that this has for you, which is there's quite a lot. For freestyle, which is what I mostly fly, well, you kind of want good range, but also really good latency. So you want to have a pretty high packet rate. So I have it on 250, which is the second highest they have. And that gets you some pretty good range as well. And I have it outside of 250 milliwatts because at most places I fly 250 milliwatts at 250 Hertz gets me plenty of range. Like I'll start to lose video before I lose my um, radio connection at most places. And um, so that's the great best thing. But if I want to say fly a long range quad and I want to set it to either Gemini or 900 Hertz. And then the next time I want to fly freestyle, I have to go back in here and change all the settings. And it's kind of a hassle. And my problem is I'll just forget to do it and I'll take off and start flying away and be like, Oh, I need to change settings or else I'm not going to have any range or my packet rates too low. So I'm not going to have like that nice uh, responsiveness. So, uh, I did find a cool little feature in ELRS that I didn't know about until recently. And I'm going to teach you about it today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out of here. We're going to go to models and you'll see here. I have mainly got two models here. I've got oops, sim and my 2.4 freestyle. And what we're going to do is we're going to long press on this one. We're going to copy and we're going to move it down to three. And now if you go into this one that we have selected right now and you look, you can go down to internal RF and there's a section here called receiver and it's set to zero, zero by default. That's your kind of first save slot for your ELRS settings on, uh, in your radio. And if, so all you really have to do is in the copy that we made is we're going to go in here, select it and then hit page to go to the second page. And I'm going to go ahead and change this. This is going to be 2.4, but this is going to be a race setup for I actually race uh, five inch quads and uh, street lead quads and um, some tiny whoops from time to time, but that's less often because they don't really happen here that much. So we're just going to change this to being called brace and we're going to scroll down here 2.4 race. We're going to change this from uh, receiver to one. And you notice there the status changed because the default setting on this radio is stupid, but well, <laughs> it changed to what the default is. So if we go to return to get back to your main menu, we go to system, we go into the Lua script, you'll see the settings are completely different than what they were a second ago. So we're at 200 low band. We got uh, antenna mode Gemini. We've got hundred t uh, your mill or transmit powers at hundred milliwatts. So what we're going to do is just change this to uh, 500 2.4. So you get twice the packet rates of my 2.4 freestyle setting. Um, so you're going to get a lot more responsiveness. Um, we're going to telemetry off. This is something that I'm only doing on my um, race uh, quads. And that's mainly because if you're, you've got, you know, eight people racing and they all have their own 2.4 radios, they all have their own 5.8 gigahertz um, video signals. There's going to be a lot of crosstalk and interference and stuff, and you'll, you're going to get telemetry lost warning quite often and it, just avoid it. You just turn telemetry off. So you don't even have the warning come up. 
Uh, switch mode. Gemini, I think I'm just going to leave that on. I don't know if that's really going to matter much other than eat up the battery a little bit because it's going to be running both uh, transmitters inside. Uh, link mode normal. This is for Mavlink because that's supported now. You're not going to really use that on a race mode, a race squad. TX power, I'm going to just leave that at 100. I might bump it up to 250 if I race and run into any kind of connection issues. But you're usually running, like with, um, with ELRS, the faster your packer rate is, the less sensitivity your um, receiver has because um, it's going to take less time to, to um, lose more packets. So like if you go behind a brick wall or something and you all of a sudden lose like, you know, a second's worth of packets, uh, it's going to fail safe really quickly. Whereas at 50 megahertz, um, those packets get transmitted much slowly. And so it's going to take longer to hit like the same amount of packets lost and actually fail safe. So you get much more range with a lower packet rate. And with racing, you don't really care. You just want the massive responsiveness. You want it to react to your sticks as fast as possible. So you can go as fast as possible. So we've got this one all set up. I'm going to go ahead and return. And then I have a seven inch that I'm building. That one is using a, a DBR4 receiver which is the gemini x receiver so it's got dual 900 antennas and dual 2.4 antennas in diversity for both so you can actually get the best connection you possibly can it's going to have the the most resistance to any kind of interference and so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into models um we're going to go ahead and copy this one again paste it down here and then we select it we're going to go into second page and we're going to rename it and I'm going to name this one Gemini LR we go. and this one we're going to change it to receiver wait zero zero yeah one two three there we go and like that so then we're going to exit out of here we're going to go back to the Express RS, uh, Lewis script and we're going to change this one all the way down to the bottom one uh, not the bottom one uh, we want X100 full, which is the lowest Gemini setting that we have. So it's got the most uh, range. And then we're going to go to standards fine, eight channels fine, uh, Gemini we want, link mode we want. And then, okay, so TX power, we're going to go up to 500. Dynamic's going to be off. Um, the reason I'm not setting this to one watt is when you're holding your radio really close, I don't know if you can hear, but the fan just kicked on because we went up to uh, 500 milliwatts. Um, but the reason you don't want to go to one watt usually is the signal from your radio is actually going to cause interference with the antennas on your goggles receiving. And um, usually you're going to get better video range at 500 than you will at one watt, um, but less, you know, ELS, ELRS range. But if you need to, you can always change that up. And then we're going to go just back. And now anytime you switch models here, it'll switch ELRS settings. And it's super simple, super easy. You can make one for 900, which I eventually might do because I have a 900 ELRS receiver that I haven't used. And then you can go from flying this. To flying this. To flying this. And all I have to do is change your uh, model on your radio before you're flying each one. And you don't have to change it between each model, which you would have to do with model match, which is annoying. So you only have to change it per type of quad you fly. Anyways, that's it for me today. Uh, hope you learned something. Peace.